Greetings folks, Two and Proper here, bringing you yet another in my series. And folks, not every firearm has to be about self-defense. Sometimes your firearm can be about training or just about plinking and having fun. Sometimes plinking and things like that are your best trainers too, because you're having so much fun and you're getting better at it as you go along. And speaking about plinking and good old American fun like that and classic designs, ladies and gentlemen, I got a look at a Ruger Mark II. Folks, here it is. This is the Ruger Mark II. This is an older design handgun. As a matter of fact, the Ruger Mark II, which is what this is, replaced the Ruger Standard, which was introduced in 1949. I wasn't even born yet, believe it or not. 1949 was the Ruger Standard, and then the Mark II replaced that. And the Ruger Mark II ran from 1982 until 2005, which means the Ruger Standard ran from 1949 until 1982. Now there's a good long run for a handgun right there. A nicely designed, very heavy, sturdy handgun. As a matter of fact, this tops 45 ounces. This is one heavy handgun, but this is a practical weight, and we'll get to that in just a minute. But the Ruger Mark II ran from 1982, which was my high school graduation year, until 2005. So it also had a very good long run, at which place, of course, it was replaced by the Ruger Mark III. Now, I am not going to attempt to take this handgun apart because I hear tell it is a biatch, and I do not intend to take this thing apart on camera. I also like to keep it so that my videos can be watched while your kids are in the same room for the most part. But I will be taking it apart because I'm going to clean it up for her and everything like that. But uh, I will not be taking this thing apart right now. Now this is a blowback operated 22 long rifle pistol. And uh, the difference between this design and most other semi-automatic handgun designs that you're used to is that the uh, slide is here. Sort of like that. This is a blowback operated pistol. The slide pulls back from back here and the slide releases right here. It also has a safety which is back here on the back of the frame. It's pretty easy to engage and disengage. You can do it with that knuckle. It's placed in a nice place. And the trigger, I'm only going to do two trigger pulls and one reset for this because this is a rimfire handgun and you shouldn't do this too very often with these but uh, I will do it with this one here just very shortly. Let's bring it up close. Just a little bit of take up. And this is a very light trigger. And you'll see from some of the footage that uh, I accidentally did a double tap. This is a very light trigger. Now the reset, it's a pretty good reset. Uh, I wouldn't say that it is your most audible, your most tactile, but you can tell it is resetting and it is close. Here it is. That was a tiny little tick, but no take up. And then back to that light trigger. So it is a very good trigger. Having a handgun like this would be good for teaching young people trigger control and aim and stuff like this. So this is a great training pistol. This would not be a concealed carrier by any stretch because this thing, again, is over 40 ounces. And it would be heavy as hell, especially if you're going to carry it for a long time. And especially because it's a 22 long rifle, it's not your greatest caliber for self-defense. This is a recreational pistol, and I would call it a trainer as well. Now some of you, those of you in the know, are also going to recognize that the grip angle for this pistol was made to match the Colt 1911. Now that would explain why this is such a natural pointer, right? The 1911 is a good natural pointing handgun, and this thing is no exception. And the grip angle is, of course, made to match the Colt 1911. Uh, that explains things. And you know, they asked that Navy SEAL that shot Osama bin Laden, they asked him, what did you feel when you pulled the trigger to shoot Osama bin Laden? And he said, recoil. And speaking of recoil, uh, recoil with this heavy handgun here, the weight from this handgun, it's heavy weight, actually makes it easier for you to shoot this handgun. 22 long rifle is not exactly a big kicker, but when you've got something that's 40 something ounces and it's shooting a rimfire cartridge, it's very easy to control. It's very flat shooting and it helps you get back on target that much quicker. So this is a very good training handgun and it is a very 
fun handgun to shoot. So uh, if you go out with your grandsons or your daughters or whoever and go out shooting cans and whatnot, this would be a very good fun gun and a very unintimidating handgun for new people to start out trying to train with. So um, I would recommend one of these. The sights, they are just regular old dovetail sights. They're very kind of low profile-ish in the back here. So you can see there's not a big dent in the top of this sight here. Although you do have a big blade. I was having a hard time seeing this. I would probably paint this front blade right here so that I could see it better. I'm like Mr. Magoo. I can't really see anything. So I would probably paint this so that I could see it. But other than that, this is a fun handgun and uh, yeah, I want one now and I would recommend it for anybody. They are known to be solid and they are known to be accurate, so uh, why wouldn't we? Let's go get one right now. But folks, like I said before, I am going to be pretty soon opening my Patreon and my WordPress segments of the Two Improper Network and then let the fun begin because the Patreon segment is going to be uh, the meat and potatoes of my whole network. And then the WordPress blog. Uh, covers the political segment of the Two Improper Network. So you'll have two segments for your entertainment. One of them will be less cerebral, like the shooting and stuff like that. And the other one will be cerebral with a political view. So WordPress, Two Improper on WordPress, is coming in August, as is Patreon. Watch for those, and please sign up. But folks, that's it. My email address is right here as I'm speaking to you, improper at gmail.com right and I will answer you provided you're not being a tool about whatever it is you have to say and if I've got the time and look for more shooting from me and Tattoo Cat that's going to be coming up here pretty soon especially as the weather starts getting cooler right now it's about 900 degrees out there and no one wants to go outside but it's coming more shooting is coming me and Tat have lots of shooting to do before it snows and uh, this is it folks thanks for watching God bless America and keep on protecting your families, yourselves, your flag, your country, and your country's honor. It is always the right thing to do. Okay, now we're gonna reach out at distance. I put this at about 10 yards. For some of you, that may not be distance at all. For me, it may as well be a quarter mile. So here we go, slow controlled fire at five yards. for what will end up being a comical display of how bad my eyes are. I moved that target out to 15 yards. That may as well be 15 miles. So let's see. I'm going to be really slow and controlled about it. Fail to eject and an attempted double feed. And okay, now we're going to bring it in close for some double taps. We've got Remington hollow points. Let's see how that does. handgun makes double tapping but it just makes shooting in general easy so with the extra weight and the fact that uh, 
Ruger Mark series pistols are generally known to be tack drivers. Um, double taps with this, uh, it's not a problem. 